CMYK or RGB when you're printing? Complicated question. Um, if you're just chiming in to know the answer, if you're printing art or photos uh, with an inkjet printer, you want to use RGB files. There you go, go do your thing. If you actually wanna understand why or make sure you're doing everything right, keep watching. So the printing industry is a massive landscape of different types of printing, offset printing, digital printing. There's a bunch of different kinds and there's a bunch of different ways to handle the files when printing these different kinds. Now, I don't know anything about offset printing. I know very little about laser printing, which is digital press printing. What I know about is Giclee, Inkjet, Aqueous, printing on large format machines, small too. Um, but I primarily use large format Canon Pro Image ProGraph, um, Pro 4000, Pro 6000, 6100, whatever, and now the 4600s. Those are the pieces of equipment that I use, and those are the pieces of equipment that I can confidently talk about. Now, unfortunately, I see a ton of misinformation on the web. I spend a lot of time on Reddit, and in the printing forums, people come in with questions, and a lot of people from different parts of the printing industry will answer those questions, not realizing that the way it's handled in different areas is completely different. I'm not gonna claim to know anything about offset printing. I have a laser printer that I use for very simple stuff. I'm not gonna claim to know with large digital presses that use laser technology the best way to do it. I'm not gonna claim to know if you're printing a canvas on a latex machine or printing wallpaper using solvent inks. I don't know those practices because I don't have those printers. I don't use those rips, the software that they use. So honestly, I, I'm, I would imagine that a lot of it's the same thing as I'm gonna say, but I really don't know. So if you wanna understand why we should not be using CMYK files, even though we are doing CMYK printing, I'm gonna tell you everything I understand about that. Now, yes, we use CMYK, subtractive color, in printing. Same as painting, you're creating colors by taking away waveforms of light. And it's based on CMYK, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. You're starting with white and the combination of colors, you end up with black. The black isn't as rich as many like, so printers add a black ink tank. Your home printers, if it's inkjet, generally has four cartridges, a C, cyan, M, magenta, yellow, Y, and a K, black. Now my Canon printers have 12 cartridges. They have two blacks, a matte and a photo black, for the photo black is for more gloss satin prints. Um, a color optimizer and nine different colors. So it uses CMYK, but it uses more colors than the normal four cartridges. Now, generally in the world of what I do, um, which is photo and art printing, images are created in RGB additive color mode. Um, so you're combining different colors of light to create this image, but that's not really what we're talking about today. Point being, your camera is shooting files in RGB. Pro Photo RGB if you're shooting raw. If you are drawing on a tablet, you are likely creating your canvas in the P3 or sRGB color space, um, sometimes Adobe. You can create it in CMYK if you would like. Some people are gonna create different things with different goals in mind. If you want to create something in CMYK, I'm not saying that we can't print it on my printers. But our files are generally created in RGB, of some level of RGB, whether it be sRGB, P3, Adobe 1998, or Profoto RGB on a raw file of a, of a digital camera. So these printer manufacturers create these printers and they print in an expanded CMYK, but they create a print driver, which is the piece of software on your computer connected to your printer, which is going to 
get your image information and it is going to translate it to the different colors that your printer prints to create your print. Now when they design this print driver and they design these printers, they are designing it for your RGB files because your digital file on your computer is generally in an RGB format. So they've done all the work in creating these print drivers to properly convert your RGB file to the colors that it needs to print and get the most accurate color rendition. So for you to shoot a photograph or create a piece of art on an RGB screen and then convert it to CMYK just to have your printer do the conversion, it, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna claim to understand the technical stuff in the middle there, but I know from all of my contact with Canon, from every other photo and art printer I've ever spoken to, if you're using these kind of machines, they are designed for you to specifically send an RGB file. So if you send a CMYK file, it's gonna look different because it's doing its conversion of that CMYK file. If you have a CMYK file that you've drawn on a tablet or that was created in Illustrator or whatever, I would strongly advise you convert this file to RGB before you print it so you can actually put your eyes on that RGB file after its conversion. The printer is designed to recreate that RGB file. So if you're sending a CMYK file to it, it's just gonna have to do an extra step, which is going to alter the colors. I have done color tests of charts, sending CMYK files, RGB, Adobe, sRGB, all of these different color spaces of the same images to print, and they look different. RGB always looks the best because that's what the printers are designed for. If you think I'm wrong and you want to provide technical information or, or make a comment about these printers specifically and why you should be sending CMYK images to these printers, please, I'm all about learning. Send me links, share your info on this page. Every time I try to say this in forums, somebody comes out of the woodwork to say that I'm wrong and that if you want more accurate color reproduction, you should be sending CMYK files. And I can guarantee you that these people either work in a different part of the industry or just in a broader part where they have different types of printers and they don't understand that the different types of printers need different types of files. So I hope that answers any questions you have of why you should send files in RGB. If I were you and I was a digital artist, I would create your files in RGB if you're planning on having them printed with somebody like me. If you're creating CMYK files on a print to have brochures or flyers printed or something on a digital press, then talk to that printer and ask them what they would like and I would guess that they are going to tell you they want CMYK. My laser printer has CMYK in it. So if I want colors to be more accurate on that, maybe it's CMYK, but that's not what I'm talking about. So I hope this was helpful in understanding uh, the differences in the two. If you disagree with anything that I have said, please leave a comment. Again, I'm all about learning. I don't know everything. This is just what I've learned from many years in the industry doing what I do. And my practical results show that leaving your images in RGB is the best way to go when printing photos and art. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.